Okay, hello everyone. So due to uh, a few requests on my live streams, uh, some people wanting to see what my uh, setup looks like or what the rundown is. So today I'm, uh, I'm going to show you. So let me just uh, bring the camera back down. I haven't got a lot of room in here so please bear with me and the camera lens is as far out as it can go. Um, so please bear with me on that. So this is the setup which some of you have seen um, with my live streams and such. I do have a visitor with me today. He uh, He's getting a bit impatient so I'm going to uh, hurry up and get this video done so I can get out of here. So let's start with the webcam which obviously faces down towards my rig. So this is a Logitech C920 a very very good very capable um, webcam so yeah very good so that's that but down here I have the main system so here it is I don't normally run the LEDs with it on it um, I've just got it on for the video so um, it's the case is a full tower Game Max case Game Max Elite or something like that it's called just a generic eBay case pretty decent case though for the money um, so yeah, that's the case. So, the machine, <laughs> as the dog gets in the way. <laughs> so the machine, as you can see there, it uh, consists of a Corsair 550 watt uh, modular power supply, an ASUS uh, Ranger, uh, Ranger Impact 8 motherboard, I believe. Really good, reliable board. Um, I've got it in my main system and generally just a really good motherboard. It's a uh, Z170 chipset, I believe, with um, an 1151 socket. So, yeah, really good board. Um, the CPU is a Intel Core i5 6600. It's not a overclocked or anything because it's not a CASQ chip. Um, I've got a EVGA GTX 1050 Ti really good uh, graphics card that for the money it's the 4 gigabyte version it's not overclocked still running standard clock speeds um, and I have if I can focus Corsair DDR4 RAM it's the Vengeance LPX uh, 8 gig kit uh, which is a 2133 megahertz I believe so it's not the most powerful system in the world but for what I need it's more than capable and it stays really cool because I've got tons of airflow fan in the back there I've got one in the top and I've got an intake uh, just there as you can kind of see <laughs> the dog's face is kind of in the way there you go so I've got an in intake fan there so yeah really uh, really good system that so, dog, what are you doing? Sorry, just just ignore my co-host. He's getting very impatient. So, um, also as well, sorry if you can hear the the lens making noises and me focusing, because if I have the auto focus on, it will just be too loud. So, the microphone slash headphones that I use, uh, these are just orbs, I believe they're called, and it's just an orb headset with a microphone attached to it. It's the only sort of headset mounted microphone that I have at the moment. Uh, not the best, but it certainly gets the job done. People can hear me clearly enough. So that's all that really matters. Um, here, I have a Lenovo tablet, which I generally use for reading chat. I tend to put it there on desk and uh, read chat. So that's that. So now, the chair. As you can see, it's not a generic DX racer chair, which are bloody uncomfortable, by the way. But this is a really, really nice, comfortable chair from uh, Argos. So, good chair, that. Good job, Argos. <laughs> so, here's the rest of the setup. So, the monitor, let me just turn my exposure down a little bit. Might flicker a little bit, but I can't do anything about that. So, this is a. Um, AOC monitor. Um, I can't remember the model name. I'll have to uh, 
for that description. Um, actually, this could be the name here. Let me see if I can focus on that. G2460P, that's the model name, I presume. So, really good monitor, a few people asked about it. It's uh, 1920 by 1080 p does up to 144 hertz. I'm currently running it at 60 hertz because my uh, DisplayPort cable was cheap and nasty and it didn't really work, so just running HDMI at 60 hertz. Um, it's got one millisecond response time. It's a IPS panel. Um, obviously, it's LED backlit. Um, yeah, really good monitor, 24 inch. So if I can find it for sale anywhere, because I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. Alfie, shush, stop sniffing the door. Shush. <laughs> so if I can find any, I'll uh, put a link in the description. But uh, yeah, re really, really good monitor. So, excuse me. I've got a pair of creative speakers here. Which, yet again, I don't really use while I'm streaming. But uh, really good. I believe they're about 20 watts in total. Um, I have a generic... Logi uh, not Logitech, uh, generic Corsair keyboard along with a mouse. Uh, they're cheap and nasty but they uh, get the job done so there you go. Now the table, if I can get far back enough, is really nice and compact. Uh, it's got a nice tabletop, it's got a keyboard tray underneath but I don't really use it um, and obviously you've got a nice base plate down there as well. Um, not the most stable table in the world, which I might have to reinforce it at some point. But it's just just an Amazon table, forty pound, really good. Um, gets the job done for me. Um, I think a lot of people like this setup because it's very uh, very compact. So moving on, I've got a lot of questions about this. I use head tracking when I'm playing Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, and any other games that I come across. Um, and the one I use in particular is called Track IR. There's a little receiver there. So it's not the most reliable, but once you get it set up, it, it does an okay job. But um, I, I wouldn't say they're worth the money you pay for it. But uh, it's okay, does the job. And the hat came with it, so obviously you need a hat to put the reflectors on. So let's put the hat there for a moment. So in fact, uh, yeah, so what have we covered? Um, well, I suppose we're going to cover the wheel now. A lot of people know this wheel base because I've already done a video on it. It's the Logitech G920, which, as I will say again, has covered 200,000 miles in about four years of use. <laughs> so it's, it's had a lot of use. Um, now I've got the aftermarket, not aftermarket, but a sold separately shifter. Which, yet again, great shifter, um, served me well. And as you can see, I'm running a aftermarket steering wheel on this uh, wheelbase. This is just a cheap eBay Chinese steering wheel. I use it for my uh, Euro truck and American truck games. I do have a wheel for drifting. Whenever I get back into drifting, that's back there. And I have another deep dish wheel for racing. Hopefully I'll do a stream soon of uh, Forza Motorsport, that's the plan anyway. So yeah, that's the wheelbase, really good, good steering wheel. If I can find a link to that, I'll put it in the description. Um, and I've got a 3D wrap adapter, which you probably can't see. So, this here, which yet again I've had a few questions on. This is a SKR, uh, not an SKRS, it's a basically a truck shifter. It's based on a Scania shifter. It's from a company called, if I can focus, Elmar. Really good company, based in Poland. Um, so this gives me the ability to change gear like a truck would. So you've got your high and low range there, and then you've got your split there, so you can go from one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got your high and low to give you a total of 12 gears. So yeah, really good that. It just bolts on to the original Logitech gear knob mount thing, spindle, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, very good. And so, let me just dig out my phone. Sorry about this, it's not the most professional setup. I should have dug out my gimbal, but I haven't got much room in here, as you can probably see. So, down here, maybe you'll be able to see. Give me a second. 
down here, <laughs> you can't really see can you, sorry, that's better, right it's down here I've got the pedals, cable management isn't the best, but uh, it will do for now, everything's out of the way of the pedals, as it should be, got a nice extension cord there, or well, extension socket, with two left which is very nice, two free, that's what you always want, so that's that, and then down in the the keyboard tray I'll just use my light control I do have uh, RGB lights in here so if I want to go all funky we can have uh, some nice funky lights going <laughs> as you can see so uh, yeah yeah I haven't got loads of room in here but I, I work with what I've got so so that's pretty much the uh, the setup really um, I think I covered everything Obviously I'm running Windows 10 64-bit, blah blah blah. Um, I use OBS to set up the live streams and control the live streams. Um, yeah, so that's that's my, my little setup. So it's nothing special, but it certainly gets the job done um, with the room I've got. So if I stand right in the corner of the room now, there's not a lot of room in here, as you can see. Um, we've got a drum kit there and stuff and shelves there with crash helmets and whatever so I've also got some Nissan Silvia S14 lights as you do <laughs> rear lights to be precise so uh, yeah there you go that's that's the setup really it's for those who uh, wanted to know so hopefully I'll be uh, back streaming soon so I do thank you all for watching take care I'll see you again soon